we don't have the best lighting here. It is very gloomy outside and rainy. The dogs are out getting wet. And I would have waited for a sunny day, but I don't think we're going to have a sunny day until like 10 days from now. So rather than prolong the rest of the art haul, I thought I would just go ahead and finish. So basically the rest of the art haul is right here. I had oil pastels and soft pastels and those little white boxes. And just an interjection, I actually also got these two abstract acrylic inks by Sennelier. Oh, this looks so wonderful. I love these things. They bring me joy. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, should we start with... I'm gonna go ahead and start with these ones. Um, I'm going to swatch them over here. So this is just, I think it's just yellow ochre. This is number 241. Cinnabar Yellow Brown. This one is Chrome Green Medium. Oh. It's, much, it's much cooler green than I thought. This one is golden brown. Ooh, this one is a lovely color. If we do get a splotch of sunshine, I'll try to show um, these swatches in sunshine. Charcoal blue. Ooh, this is a lovely color too. And then this is the iridescent color, which transparent blue. Oh, it's not, I don't know if it is iridescent. No, it is iridescent. I have an iridescent set, and I probably should have double checked that this was in the set or not. But it is actually a really beautiful iridescent blue. I highly recommend. Okay, that's it for these. Look, I was good. I only got six. Congratulate me. Just kidding. Am I kidding though? So there was some open stock new pastel left from Prisma Color, but it seems like Dick Blick is getting rid of that, and it doesn't seem like there will be open stock new pastels. I'm not 100% sure, but that would be disappointing because these new pastels are pretty great, and I have the large set. But if I run out, why would I want to buy another large set? So that's going to cause some problems if that's what New Pastel is doing. But these are actually made in Mexico. Look, it says made in Mexico. So this is just orange. Pretty standard orange. This one is Hooker's Green. I love Hooker's Green. I do. I think I, I think I really enjoy this color. This one is Peacock Blue. Sorry if I'm wobbling you. That's a pretty color too. This one is just red. Oh no, it's carmine. I need to figure out if I'm pronouncing that correctly because, especially because, you know what? I love this color. I do. I'm gonna buy carmine everything now. No, I can't buy anything anymore. Not until, not until one year from now. So let's start the calendar. It's April 15th. Friends, I did my taxes yesterday. I was so happy. Didn't even take a long time. Corn yellow. 
I don't know what it is about the word corn. I don't even eat that much corn. But when I see corn yellow or corn blue, I'm like, oh yeah, I want that color. I don't know if it just makes me feel like, I don't know. It, I mean, maybe the word corn just makes me feel like comforted. Okay, this is vanadium yellow light. I actually had about 30 of these in my cart, in that huge haul. And then the price was really extra outrageous and I was like, okay, I have so many pastel sets. So I just bought this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is like a nice soft baby yellow. That was a good purchase. This one is titanium yellow. I've been looking, oh wow, wow that, I guess it's like titanium buff but yellow because it's a much um, darker yellow than I thought it would be. Here's our Leela. Leela's joining us. Leela, did you just hit your head? If I give her some space, she's gonna sit here. You can't see her, but she's right off camera. She's probably gonna try to drink that water. Layla, we, we don't put scissors in our mouth. We're smarter than that. Okay. Burnt. Okay, stop, stop, Layla, no. Layla, get your little face off. Layla, Layla, mommy's working. It's for our channel, Layla. So for these colors, actually, Schmincke will have a color and then it comes in a bunch of different values. So you can get this color in lighter and darker values. Um, and I'm trying to find where, oh, this is O. So this is vanadium yellow light O, the titanium yellow B. Yeah, so B is a darker one. So they have much, a lot of lighter ones of this as well. I might look into that. The reason I got um, some yellows is because I wanted to mix lighter colors without making it chalky. You know how when you, um, especially with pastels, I feel like if you add titanium white to and mix it with another color, it just looks really chalky and I'm trying to find an alternative to that. So I might in the future, not now, get one of these in the much lighter color because this is much darker than I anticipated, but I still like the color. This is um, Burnt Sienna M. Ooh, I like this one. It's a nice autumn color. This is Bordeaux, of course, Bordeaux O. I wonder why I should have gotten some lighter value. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. Um, pearl blue H. So this might be iridescent as well. Oh, yes it is. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. Look at this one and that one. Friends, this is, this is iridescent and it is a lovely color. I'm going to show this to you in sunlight and also bring the camera up closer today so you can see it in both lighting. This one is Caput Mortem B, so one of the darker Caput Mortems. Ooh, what a nice dark. This one is Delft Blue. Bluish Green Deep B. Wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. It is nighttime, so this is on the artificial yellow light. Um, but again, we might actually have a sunny day tomorrow. So I will try to show you the piece of paper under um, normal sunlight. Wow, this is really heavy. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want pastel all over my hands. All right, I'm gonna do this over here. Ooh. 
This must have been um, a Schmincke Carmine, because it looks very similar to that color. I mean, it almost just looks like the same color. Let me try. So this was the Carmine Brown, and this was just regular Carmine. So this is Carmine Brown. And that is what it looks like. See, I'm so excited to see what this one looks like. by this color. This one is the forest green. It's really a pretty color. It's like a, would you say it's a Christmas green? I am swatching the black iridescent one. I had to do voiceover because Leela was barking and I don't think you want to hear her barking. So this actually feels a lot lighter than the other three did and if you compare it to the other ones it's also actually smaller in size. I don't know if this pigment is more expensive than the other pigments. I know that on Dick Blick all of these actually cost the same. And now I'm swatching it. It is a silvery black color. Um, it is really pretty. It's not as iridescent as the pebble itself feels. And just an interjection, I actually also got these two abstract acrylic inks by Sennelier. That was part of the haul as well. This one is Sanguine don't know if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. I should probably know how to pronounce it. And raw sienna. Um, I have an inclination towards earthy reds, it appears. Because <laughs> I also have um, watercolors in multiple earthy reds. This is the same one. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. This is a gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful color. Let me just actually draw this other one. wonderful. Yes, it is. It's wonderful. Look. Little animal. You like my bunny? You like it. Flop here. Flop those ears. Flop those ears. Thank you for joining me. The next haul is actually a stationary art haul and you will not be disappointed. I came away unboxing it and I haven't finished unboxing it. Just literally feeling abundant and so inspired. I think stationary is actually a really easy way of um, getting another artist's artwork. So I'm planning on starting a stationary collection now. But in any case, have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. I would love to grow this community and 
Um, thank you.